Hey Biscuits, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a new homemaker haul. So I went to a couple different stores and grabbed things and I thought, you know what, I got some good finds. I'm gonna share them. Um, number one, I know you're gonna be excited. As excited as I am for this. Hold on, did I buy a new broom? It's got a little dust on it because I already used it, but oh, I bought a two pack broom. This big one and then a little one. I know, I know, I have been using the same um, <laughs> broken broom for many years. Oh yeah, now I have two, I have two brooms. Oh man, I have been sweeping up a storm. I love it. Uh -huh, it's, my, it's my most exciting find. Go Costco. It was on sale for like four bucks for the two of them, plus a dustpan. And I was like, um, you're calling my name, Costco. You're calling my name. What else did I get? Oh yeah. Did a little, little crafting expedition. It's dangerous, don't. I mean, sending me to a craft store is not as dangerous as sending me to a homeware store. That, like, you know, they should take my credit cards and hold them for me before I go into a homeware store so that I don't overshop. <laughs> I got these little fun stencils. I love them. Look at this, I got a couple different ones. And we are gonna stencil up Abraham's bedroom. Oh yeah, um, sometime, sometime this summer we'll see it. We have so many house projects, but they were on sale. They were three bucks each down from 13. And it's the best deal I've seen on stencils. I've been looking for ages. So I have a whole bunch of fun projects. I kind of want to redo some furniture with stenciling. Um, and I just think that these look like, that'd be really fun. Like maybe the circular one on, on a dresser, I want to I try it out and see see how they work. I'm probably going to do like little small crafts first and test them out. But I feel like I kind of want to get into back into my DIY and crafting and doing some big DIY projects around the house that I will show you in video format when I'm done so that I have the whole thing. Um, and that, that's coming along. It's going along really slowly. As you can imagine, working full time and taking care of two children <laughs> full time is um, it makes the DIY projects go slower, but then it's so much more satisfying when I'm actually done. I love it. Okay. I love this so much that I held on to it. I haven't even taken it out of its thing yet. I should. I should. It's a spatula. No, it's not double sided with this print, which I think would be nice, but it's got little spring flowers. Um, yes. Yes, please. I need like my little milkmaid outfit and I'll like stir my sauces and I love it. I kind of, it kind of made me want to go off the deep end on spatulas and start getting more. And then I went, you know, I have a small kitchen. It's, I need, I need to stick with it. <laughs> but yeah, this kind of is a bit of my inspiration for, I want to do over my kitchen a little bit uh, out of necessity. When I had those cabinets that had to come down because they were ripping out the wall, there's wall damage. So I have to have somebody come in and like fix the drywall because like I'm not good enough that drywall to do that. As, as you can tell from the drywall that I redid here <laughs> in the drywall project. Uh, so I kind of, I kind of want to, I don't know, make it just a little bit more me. Like it's very cold and stark right now and that is not my style. So I want to do a little bit more Scandinavian style um, with it. And I think I'm just going to do some fun. I'm not going to do any like huge project, but I kind of have that, have that plan for the kitchen for for a fun project. Like once I'm done redoing my filming studio for Patreon, um, then the next step is is the kitchen that I wanna wanna work on and just kind of make it aesthetically more pleasing. I want it to be a space that I enjoy being in right now. And right now my kitchen is somewhere where I go in, throw together some food, and then go. Ugh, ugh, ugh. And it does not doesn't inspire me with joy. And that's something that in fact I was just I was just filming a Patreon video and I was talking about this of the idea of adding in aesthetically beautiful things to your life. Not that are grand and huge changes to your life, but small things that make you more joyful and appreciative of your life, right? And that's kind of what I was feeling. I was like, oh man, I need, my home has just kind of, in the last year, I don't know. It's, it's not that it's messy per se, it's just kind of lost that spark. Like I haven't been paying attention to it and making it beautiful. And I feel that when I'm in the house, I think because I'm in the house so much with lockdown, Washington State is still, you know, very much um, in some form of lockdown that, yeah, I really, I really want to beautify the space. And that's kind of my, my summer goal. I want to, I want to get back into that. I feel like I didn't, 
I don't know, I think my homemaking was focused on like getting certain tasks done instead of making our home feel really warm and bright. And that's, that's what I made it for. I was really good up until Christmas. I feel like January hit and I just kind of hit a wall. And went, okay, I got this. This was on sale for 50 cents. It's a little photo frame and I think we're gonna paint it up and I might, I might do what my grandmother did where she would collect shells from Hawaii because she would spend her winters in Hawaii every year. Um, and she would collect and make seashell uh, frames. So I think I'm gonna do like a vintage 70s seashell frame in here. I don't know what picture I'll put in, but something cute. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something to that. Right now, that's my plan. <laughs> oh, oh, what's, what's next? Do, 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 do. Okay, biscuits. I got this beautiful puppy for Instagram photos because we're gonna garden this year. Oh yeah, and it's not gonna be a apocalypse garden like last year. It's going to be a joyful, happy, reasonable garden because there's only so much gardening I can do this year with a two month old and a six year old. There's like, there's limitations upon me. And <laughs> this is where I'm at this year. So I plan to take many photos of me with my gardening bounty in here and adorable dresses around my yard this summer to go on Instagram. <laughs> Because <laughs> I've gone full crazy Instagram lady. I don't know what happened. Something, you know, my brain just went crazy from too much lockdown. And I was like, I'm going full hog on Instagram. I'm doing all the crazy zany photos. Um, are they zany? No, they're just like, you know, I take random costumes to the beach and make everybody change and go, family photo time. <laughs> that's, that's what I've become. Um, yes. I don't. I don't. It, unexpectedly, but... That's where we're at. Oh, okay. These two are thrift store finds. I love a good thrift store find. Um, I'm a cheapskate. I love to stick to a good budget, you know? It's wonderful. Got this giant Pyrex bowl. I got it for $3.99. It was on special extra clearance. Yes. And I just, you know, I'm one of those people that for a long time, I just didn't, have a lot. I, I love to bake, but I just didn't own a lot of bakeware. I would use like one pan and I would just, you know, take the cookies off it, put them on, and it took forever, right? And I don't know why. I think that when I left my spousal equivalent, which is years ago now, years ago, I never replaced all the stuff that he kept. Like his vengeance was keeping all of my Mondogram towels and plates <laughs> and my cookware. And I just never replaced it. I think I so associated it with that time in my life that I didn't, I don't know, I think it reminded me too much of that, you know, of that homemaking time where I really was just being able to be a homemaker full time, which was lovely. Um, and so now I'm kind of, I don't know, have I healed more? I guess I, I must have emotionally healed from it by accident um, because now I feel really into that homemaking vibe. I don't know, maybe it's, it's having the second kiddo or something, but it's really made me feel more emotionally there for wanting to focus on homemaking more. Um, yeah, I don't know. Different seasons of life. I love it. It makes me really happy that I am deriving joy from all this stuff now. And I don't feel like one bowl, that's enough for you, lady. You don't need more than one mixing bowl. I'm, I was literally using salad bowls to mix stuff when we were doing like, because sometimes I'll do, you know, a coffee cake or banana bread and muffins and you know maybe I'll make some icing so I need several bowls going at once because I like to multitask when I'm actually gonna turn on the oven uh, and so I was like why am I being so silly about this I don't know what kind of mental block I had going on something something was going on there mentally and so yeah okay this bowl I love this bowl Abraham bought it he wanted to keep the snails a pet in it I found him a better bowl we got him a fish tank for it instead because he wants a pet snail um, but I have this gorgeous bowl now and I was like, you know what? It's granny chic. Granny chic biatches. That's where we're going this year. Oh, oh yeah. Am I going to have some punch? Am I going to invite all my vaccinated relatives over for an outdoor punch extravaganza? Ooh, yeah. So $7.99. This thing is heavy. Like this is a quality piece. Um, it is really heavy. Like it's a two hand. I can kind of hold it with one hand, but it's heavy. And for, for $7.99, go thrift store. I actually wanted to buy even more, more stuff at the thrift store. I may go back um, because I don't know. I'm really, I'm really feeling the homemaker this summer. You're gonna see it on the channel. I'm just, it's not so much that I'm shifting focus. It's just that I'm refocusing and I guess finding joy without the baggage of past things. 
I don't know how that happens. It'll probably hormones because I'm, you know, deranged hormonally right now, which which I accept. And I see that in the vlogs on my main channel. Like one vlog will be like, I'm having a great time, and the next vlog will be like, ah! And I don't register that I'm making these vlogs because I'm just vlogging my life, right? <laughs> and then I see the roller coaster that I've been on the last two months of hormones. <laughs> and maybe I'm I'm accidentally more honest on there than I would like to be just by not noticing. I'm like, oh yeah, crazy lady, crazy lady coming through. Okay, that is my that's my homemaking haul for today. Um, yeah, ooh, felt it felt good to to go out and grab some stuff uh, to to make everything all all pretty. I think I'm gonna do a second thrift store haul for you biscuits because that cheap Pyrex is calling my name. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm gonna see you on the next video. If you want to see our daily vlogs and all of my kind of family vlogging and everything, I do that over on the Wholesome Feed, which is my other main channel. Um, and you can always check out all of my fabulous burlesque styled self-care, emotional and physical, over on my Patreon. I also am starting up, well I started up, I soft launched it in late fall, early winter, and now it's going, May is kind of its kickoff month to go full hog. Um, I love that term, I don't know why I use that so much. <laughs> For my workout course on OnlyFans is I'm doing a whole workout series on there and it's gonna be so much fun. And summertime is really when I kick out my game uh, for working out because like now I can work out. Um, so I think, I think it's gonna be fun. I have some really hysterical costumes that I got in there. I, was, I decided to go full for the summertime, full 80s Jane Fonda workout wear. So I've got leg warmers. I've got, oh, you can probably tell that I don't, just have sure. <laughs> got the leg warmers, I got the one piece workout gears, like I decided to just go full cheese ball because it makes me happy. And I feel like, you know, when you're happy, it just rubs up on people, and that's true. Okay, uh, I'm gonna see you in the next video. I love y'all. Giant hugs, woo! For summer coming, oh my God, I'm so excited for sunny, warm days. I just so want that. Um, yeah, it has been a long winter with absolutely no escape from the winter <laughs> and I am so ready. I'm so ready for sunshine and warmth and like a picnic in the backyard. Yeah, um, I'm over winter. This winter in particular, I'm like, no thanks, no thanks. <laughs> See you in the next one.